Welcome to the Writer's Den. My name is Jane Waters and today we're going to be talking with our newest generation of writers and thinkers and, and positive seekers in the world. We often refer to them as the Y generation or the net generation. Um, some of us refer to them just easily as the millennial generation. That's the group of young people that are born between 1982 and 2004. And today we have Curtis Flanders with us. Welcome, Curtis. Thank you for having me. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about your new Facebook page and blog, Growing Positivity. So tell me a little bit about how you decided that this was going to be the name for this new um, sort of writing and thoughtful mind space. Okay. Um, well, we started with a pilot group that was, be uh, that was called Becoming the Change. And it, it sort of you know, took off and it was, it was a pretty good group. Um, but then we went, when we went to go make it into a page, we didn't want a name that had already been taken. And Becoming the Change is a, it's a pretty big name on uh, Facebook. Um, so after a few days of, you know, really trying to figure out what our name was going to be, we found out that no one really had the name Growing Positivity. Growing Positivity can be many different things. And I know that you're not the only writer for um, for this blog post that you do. Um, tell me a little bit about what you were looking for in an individual and a writer that would be representing your thoughts and your motivations on this page. Okay, well we were looking for um, individuals, people that you know had a gift or you know had something inside them that they needed to express and we we picked those people up because they were more engaged and you know they were more likely to post something or to share something um, with the collective group. So what do you think that it is that um, the millennial generation, as we've said already, that generation of writers, what do you think it is that, that you're most wanting to represent in your writing age group, in, in the young adults that are out there um, writing at this time? Well. We kind of want to get out that um, everyone, everyone is an individual, and you know if we can build as individuals, but also in a group sense, you know what's good for the self is good for the group, and vice versa. So if you're you're building, you know, your skill as an artist, and I'm building my skill as like a photographer, you know, why not let me take pictures of your art and us both get you know promoted? Mm -hmm. So we're now dealing with um, some of the youngest motivational speakers in our history, um, and that is, of course, um, your generation. And is this blog about motivational speaking, or is, is it more detailed than that? Does it go a little deeper than just motivating other people? Um, well, I mean, we, we really want this to take off in, in many ways. We want it, you know, a more of a community aspect to where uh, people that get out or people that want to get out and do volunteer uh, work as a group um, can and you know if if someone's got you know a skill or a, you know, there's a nonprofit that we want to promote then we can and we mm -hmm. we will so Curtis tell me a little bit about you as sort of the founding writer for this blog page and and how did you get to the place where you believe that these messages needed to be something that not just young adults would find interesting, but maybe younger individuals as well as the older generation. What, what is it about your past, your history, that speaks to the importance of what this page is today? Um, I think a lot of the best people in this world have gone through some of the hardest things. And I, th I feel like you know, I've, I've done a lot of community service and I've given back in a lot of ways, but I want it, it to be more about, you know, not just me, but, you know, a group aspect. Like, what can we give back as a group? You know, how can we grow as a group? Um, and, and what does that mean for the future? You know, like a group of people that's all well connected and does care about, you know, getting out and serving the community, you know, what, what, is that, what can that mean for the future? And what do you feel that that can mean for the future? Well, I already see people getting inspired to want to do something or to, you know, want to change something small. And I feel like if 
enough people are changing, you know, enough small things, then on the grand scale, you're going to see, you know, real change. So are you hopeful then in your writing, I would think, um, to, to encourage others to get involved in the change that you see happening? We, we really hope that um, our writing inspires people. You know, it inspires them to be an individual. It inspires them to share and to express what's on the inside. You know, we, we hope that we can make them a better person while they're making themselves a better person. You know, some of the greatest thinkers of our time, um, you know, Maya Angelou, Dr. Dyer, um, you know, Deepak Chopra, um, the older generation we, we see sort of lean in that direction. Um, how do you feel that the older generation is going to view your blog post? How do you hope that they're going to view that blog post? Um, that's, a, that's kind of a funny question. I mean, the older generation influenced our generation. You know, the 90s is where I was born. Um, and we were greatly influenced by the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. And if you, you know this time period, you know it to be you know, the peace-loving hippies and the activists and, you know, those people that preach messages that, you know, there needs to be dynamic change, that it needs to come from us. Do you feel that you're an activist? I wouldn't say so much an activist. <laughs> um, I believe everything that comes from love and peace speaks louder than some of the other ways people are trying to get hurt today. I agree, I agree. So. When you're writing a story about something that's going on in community, what are you really looking for? Are you looking for just the positive edge or are you looking for the truth in the story? We're hoping to portray that we are an unbiased group, that, you know, we, even if something kind of bothers us, you know, we want to share that too. Because, like, all of us together is what this is about and, and growing together. So you're in a generation, and we kind of gap you guys right there, you know, as the millennial generation. Um, some adults think that you guys hang out in rooms all day and game and stay on computers, and, and that that's your life. While I see your group out in the community, you're volunteering, you show up in gardens, you show up at galleries. Um, I see you guys working on the streets trying to, to bring food to people in need, and that is your group of writers and, and, and how you guys are writing from that. How do you want your generation to get involved in what you're doing and get involved in your movement of growing positivity? In any way that they can. You know, if, if you can't get out and, you know, physically give your time to charities, or if you can't get out and help build a garden, you know, share your positivity and share your, you know, what you would want to do online, you know, get out there and express yourself in any way that you can because if it's just a handful of us trying to see our world change and try to see, you know, the light, it's not going to get nearly as far as if everyone did, you know, a tiny little bit. When you first sat down with the concept and started drafting out how you were going to do this blog post and what what the target was for the people that you were trying to reach tell me a little bit about how you did that from start to today were there conversations did you meet with your writers who are your photographers tell me about the concept of your page as a business and not just a good motivational site um well we began with the pilot group um and it was just me for the longest time posting in it and I kind of chose my admins as I saw who was more engaged in the page, well, uh, in the group. And we, we branched out from there um, to becoming a page um, where the admins from the group became the admins on the page. I've seen and I, you know, know photographers and artists and um, many people like that through my work in community and you know networking myself at community events and the friends that and connections that I've made are people that I'm bringing in onto the page and I'm hoping that you know new connections are made to where eventually everyone is connecting together. 
So in a worldwide, um, really, family and network, are all of your, your admins, as you're calling them, are they all local? Yes, all of them are right here in Polk County. Um, they're spread out over like Arbindel and Lakeland, Winter Haven, um, Orlando. You know, we all have our own individual self. Let's talk about how, how you monitor that page because obviously you have something very specific that you're trying to accomplish with the page. Um, just the title of it in, in and of itself, the blog, is um, Growing Positivity. Let's say that somebody posts something that's really not very kind. How do you guys monitor that? Well, only the admins are allowed to post on the page. We have opened it up to where um, any of the people on the page can post, but it has to be approved by an admin. So all of my admins and myself already know that if something doesn't represent us or represent the message, you know, if it's not from love, then um, it's not something you're going to see on our page. Tell me a little bit about how you see the unity in Polk County, like just as a whole, because your page well represents unity and the message of positive unity. So you as the writer and the creator of this new blog, um, tell me how you feel about unity in our county. I was reading the other day um, that Winter Haven and Lakeland are some of the most generous cities in Florida and some of the, you know, we have some of the most um, charitable cities in, in Florida. Mm -hmm. And I've seen Polk County grow over the last 10 years. Um, more businesses moving in, cities getting bigger, you know, traffic getting longer. Um, but I see more so the people that are coming together, you know, partnerships that, you know, wouldn't have been made 10 years ago are starting to be made now and more people are becoming open to the idea of collaboration. Absolutely. So what do you think some of the things are that, that divide that unity for our millennial generation? I think labels, you know, like um, baby boomers and millennials or, you know, um, just, just labels in general divide us and kind of make it seem like we're not as connected as we are. And, you know, we're trying to break through those barriers. Absolutely. And do you feel that your page is going to help bridge that gap? Tell me a little bit about how you see the unity in Polk County, like just as a whole, because your page well represents unity and the message of positive unity. So you as the writer and the creator of this new blog, um, tell me how you feel about unity in our county. I was reading the other day um, that Winter Haven and Lakeland are some of the most generous cities in Florida and some of the, you know, we have some of the most um, charitable cities in, in Florida. Mm -hmm. And I've seen Polk County grow over the last 10 years. Um, more businesses moving in, cities getting bigger, you know, traffic getting longer. Um, but I see more so the people that are coming together, you know, partnerships that, you know, wouldn't have been made 10 years ago are starting to be made now and more people are becoming open to the idea of collaboration. Absolutely. So what do you think some of the things are that, that divide that unity for our millennial generation? I think labels, you know, like, um, baby boomers and millennials or, you know, um, just, just labels in general divide us and kind of make it seem like we're not as connected as we are. And, you know, we're trying to break through those barriers. Absolutely. And do you feel that your page is going to help bridge that gap? We can only, like, be the start of something. And hopefully, you know, our idea takes off and it flies and it inspires one other person. And that one other person, you know, does the next big step and then the next lily pad and the next lily pad until we've, you know, we've come to that point where 
everyone's kind of doing it and you know there's not so much a need anymore because we all are connected already absolutely I agree with that and and I think that that our viewers would agree with that as well that if we could connect as you're saying the lily pads it'd be easier for the frogs to get across that's for sure my question for you is here because it's not been all that long since you've been in high school and out and and into the next education of life and into creating blogs and all of the, the madness that is in becoming an adult. And I often hear I'm not adulting today. Um, and so as being sort of the new representative of the adults, tell me how you feel school either prepares us for unity or maybe leaves us a little challenged when we hit real time for unity. You don't really see classes in school nowadays that are like, you know, common sense or, um, you know, balancing a checkbook or changing a tire. You know, we, we get this tutorial that is school and it's, it's kind of prepares you for the game in some sense, but really it, it's just there to kind of like give you a, an idea of what life is like and, you know, give you a chance to socialize as you know a young person and then once you start to get into the real world it hits you hard in the face so <laughs> yeah and, and are you ready for it you know um, so my question then is really just in in positive thinking which is your whole world on this blog right do you find that your own page is motivating to you as a young adult not only that whenever you're writing, but whenever your administrators are writing or when the community's writing in, um, how does that page motivate you as a young adult? It gives me a chance to be expressive. You know, it, it makes me want to go out and interview people and build stories around those people. It makes me want to lift up other people. Um, the page provides a lot of things for me personally um, that without it, you know, I would, I would have to like just think about these kind of things. I want to be able to express these kind of things. When you're very hands-on as an administrator and a writer, um, I see you often, and I mentioned this a little bit earlier, um, I see you in community doing a lot of things or, or when I'm on Facebook, I see where you're at and, and, and you're walking the walk and talking the talk. Um, is that what you're hoping to get out to, to the group that's following you as Curtis Flanders on this, on this blog post? I should hope everyone that follow us, you know, they want to get out and do as many things as they can with, you know, the one life they're given. You know, I want people to, when someone asks them, you know, oh, what is it that you do? You know, they have to take in a deep breath because, you know, they've got a story to tell. You know, it's not just, you know, I'm, I'm working a waitressing job or I'm, I'm a cook, you know, it's, I'm a cook, but I do art and I get out in community and I help build gardens and I've got photographer friends that I'm promoting. You know, I want people to be able to say they do like six or seven things mm -hmm. and that they're connected to other people that are doing six or seven things. Well, and I think that we live in a world where most people are doing six or seven things all at one time and and it does look very diverse like that um, you know whenever we look at a page um, from anybody that's thinking positively about anything you know we're looking for that motivation we're looking for what makes Curtis want to be on line telling the world what this positive thought is um, do you want people writing in quotes from other positive thinkers or are you looking for original quotes A little bit of both. You know, we can't, we can't look to the future without looking to the past. So there's been so many words that have already been put together beautifully. Um, but there's still so many words that can be put together to express, you know, and convey messages um, that really it, it's, it's both ways. So Curtis, if somebody wanted to know about volunteer opportunities or um, just ways to get engaged in their community. Could they go to your blog site and find various opportunities? Yes. Um, we actually are implementing more and more um, get-togethers for like, you know, a day that's, you know, let's go out and, you know, 
feed people. Let's go out and you know, build a garden. Let's go out and just support organizations that already do such a good job in community. And really all they need is, you know, manpower. And our generation not, you know, not being out there doing our own thing as much yet, you know, we have the time to put into building those organizations and, you know, giving back. I love that, and and you know I could have probably led with that question because looking at your post, I know that those are some opportunities that I've seen available from time to time, and I love that you guys are trying to unify um, young adults in our area to give back and work toward, and you know you're the community service hours generation in my world of of community. You guys were required to have hours for school. Those are some of the unique changes in the school system that maybe weren't around in, in generations before you where you know we really did do a good job of teaching the importance of getting in community and giving back. And so I love that it's a young adult group um, through um, growing positivity that I see coordinating and getting getting your people together. Now, I know we just said that you do that for volunteering, but do you guys get together just to socialize and create networks as well? Yes, I mean, we. our next event is actually in August. It'll be at the Garden Ballroom in Winter Haven. Um, that's gonna be a mixer to kind of get people out and you know network with each other a little bit more, show off their friends, show off their art, their talents. Um, we don't want to just get together and you know build community. We want to get together and build ourselves as well. Outstanding. Curtis, thank you so much for being with us today at the Writer's Den. We're excited about what you're doing and your Growing Positivity blog and Facebook page, and we're going to be keeping our eye on you and all of uh, the young adults that are working with you to do good things in Polk County. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining us on the Writer's Den. For more information on growing positivity and getting involved with Curtis Flanders and his group of dynamic young people, go right to Facebook, look up the page Growing Positivity and it's going to pop right up. Like that page and get involved. Yeah.